Hi everyone, welcome to Bay Sunday. I'm your host Frank Malico. Good to have you with us. And we got another great show on deck as usual. We've got a singer, a very big singer, a therapist, a teacher, and a student, and an author that knows the CBS studios oh too well. But first, a reminder, if you'd like to connect with us or pitch us a show idea, love to hear from you. Go to cbssf.com or click on the connect and We'll get you uh, the information and the links to our email and social media, Facebook, Twitter, the works. You'll also see a review of Palo, an inexpensive mobile phone, and Umatello. It's a home telephone system that allows you to phone free in the United States. And Biscotti, which uh, allows for free video calls through your HD television. Well, I think you know our first guest. His name is Lenny Williams from the group Tower of Power and for having one of the most distinctive voices in contemporary music. He has toured the United States, Asia, South Africa, and everything in between. He's a solo artist as well, performing. He has crossed over into acting, starring in stage plays such as Love on Layaway, co-starring uh, Deborah Cox. Lenny has an influential, smooth vocal style from his mega-hit singles, because I love you and so very hard to go. Please welcome back to Bass Sunday. He was here this past summer, soul and R&B artist, Lenny Williams. How are you? I'm good. And yourself? You got your nice threads on, too. You uh, yeah, got a little decked out for the party I wanted party to make here. sure that they saw me when I crossed the street. Yeah, well, it's a little we foggy did. this morning, foggy San Francisco, you know. From yeah. far away. Well, what are you working on now? What's going on in your world? Well, I'm working on a new uh, CD. I started to say album, but uh, new CD. There yes, you go. right. Album's and, uh, okay, too. Album's okay, right, yeah. And uh, so we have a new single out called Still, and we're excited about that. Uh, and it's well, interesting. Uh, this morning, I was checking my messages, and this guy calls, hey, I ordered uh, this uh, song still, and I didn't get it, you know. So I had to call him on the phone because, you know, I, as the owner of my own record company, I'm the stock guy, and you know, uh, you know, the ombudsman, you know, I do everything right. So I had to call him and say, no, you're supposed to download it. He was like 65, so he didn't understand that. Sure. He was waiting for the mail for a CD to come. Right? Does so, it no. blow, I, I, we were talking about it off camera, but does yes. it blow your mind how the music industry, when you were Tower of Power, you know, you pump out albums, right. people buy them yeah, nice and easy, yeah. and now yeah. you can record in your own back backyard and exactly. throw it up on the internet and exactly. voila. Yeah, so uh, it's just a whole new process. Uh, it's very, very interesting. Uh, you know, so I'm on Twitter, Facebook, and all those different things, uh, you know, just trying to uh, be relevant, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And how about still? Does that mean you're still cooking? Well, the in name your of the mid to late '60s the, here, or what? Yeah, the name of the uh, of the CD is called uh, "Still in the Game," yeah. and the uh, the single is called "Still." Yeah. So basically, it's just letting people know that I'm I'm still out here, uh, you know, chugging away, you know, making music, uh, doing shows, uh, singing bar mitzvahs, you know, weddings, uh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. You still got it too. How about Tower Power? If, uh the band, do they still kind of get, it, get oh, yeah. together on occasion? Oh, yeah, the band still works. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah they, I think they have about four original members, and then they have uh, other guys in the band, so they tour all the time working, and every now and then we meet up somewhere at an airport, hey, or occasionally maybe even on the same show, so it's kind of interesting. And do you yeah. jump aboard on occasion? Do they? I have done that, yes, yeah. right, yeah. Very rarely, but uh, yes, I have done that, yes. Would you Would you shoot me this early in the morning if I asked you to give us a little uh, a, a little uh, a flavor? A little, a little well, I think something? I could do a little something, yes, right. Yeah. Right now? So very hard to go. Why yes. not? Sure. Ain't nothing I can say, nothing I can do. I feel so bad, yeah, I feel so blue. I got to make it right for everyone concerned. Even if it's me, it's me who's getting burned. Cause I could never make the orchestra. <laughs> even happy. All and right, you had a yes. gig last night. That I had a gig last night, yes. Clap right, over yes. there, guys. There yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah. So it was the pipes are still working. Yes, right. Yes, yeah. Oh, uh, really? So is it is it hard to just jump in like that? I mean, you've got to you know perform and get that thing all set to go. Well, um, it just works. You know, I I, I used to be frightened sometimes and I used to feel kind of bad because I would get nervous mm -hmm. and I read that Frank Sinatra every time he went on stage he wondered if he when he opened his mouth was something going to come out and I said well, if Frank Sinatra could feel that way what about Lenny Williams it's okay yeah you got a big golf tournament coming up yes. this summer uh July the 7th July in the 7th. San Leandro yes. tell us about it yeah we uh have a, a organization called Keep the Music Rocking, and we keep um, the music programs alive in the schools. 
Um, and we're having a really tough time this year because uh, in San Leandro they cut, uh, uh, I think, about 70% uh, of the uh, budget for the, uh, for the schools there. And uh, so we, all the proceeds go to, um, to the music programs we buy. Uh, Sheila E. actually just gave us uh, $11,000 and gave us $25,000 in brand new equipment, but still not enough. You know, we, uh, you know, we need uh, all the equipment and stuff. So on the, we have people come out and play golf. And, uh, you know, I can't really play, but... Uh, yeah, but, uh, but you're the master ceremony. You're, you're, <laughs> I have the best you're, jacket. You're yes. Oh, yes, yes, you right. do. I have the best looking jacket there, right? Yes. Hey, yeah. I got to ask you this question. What do you have an iPod? I do. What is on your iPod? What What do you listen to? I listen to everything. I've got Justin Bieber on there. I've yeah. got uh, R. Kelly. You know, just uh, Beyonce. I like her new song. It's really nice. Yeah, right on top. Yeah, yeah right. And uh, yeah, so I just listen to a little bit of everything. Frank Sinatra, uh, Tony Bennett. You know, you name it. I've got it on there. All the classics. Michael Buble. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Michael Buble. Yeah, 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 he's yeah. the best. Well. Mm -hmm. You're the best. Thanks, My pleasure. Thanks Thank for you. coming yes, in. Sir. We sure appreciate it, Lenny. And good luck. You're on a cruise. You're going to be singing I'm here. I'm going on a cruise leaving uh, tonight, going to uh, Florida and be singing on uh, Tom Jonah Cruise. Yes, right. Yes. It's a tough life, huh? Sometimes, yes. It's all good. Yes. All right. Always nice to have a Bay Area native as well and music legend on our program, Lenny. Thanks again. If you'd like more information on Lenny Williams or to purchase songs or see his schedule of appearances, all you got to do is go to LennyWilliams.com. We'll be right back. Much more Bay Sunday right after this.